That sounds absolutely excellent. We'll get the next train down and meet you at the Fox. What the heck was that? All about? That was the excellent Italian drummer we were hoping to hear from. He loves our songs and can't wait to meet. He's really keen. We're going to London tonight to meet at the Intrepid Fox. We'll get the train. He said he definitely wants the drummer position in the band. Roddy heck, that is awesome. Finally, someone keen enough to meet and get things rolling. I am amazed at how empty this carriage is. It must be a lucky day. Yes, this is very rare. Normally I would not know where to look and have somebody sneezing and coughing in my face. Not to mention, of course, the regulation bum guff released into the airtight carriage making breathing impossible. I'm actually really looking forward to tonight, I think this guy could be the guy we need. From what I've heard he really wants to be in the band. Finally it seems our luck is changing. I definitely think this was a fantastic use of my last 15 pounds of the month. I don't mind being skinned if it means we have a decent drummer. Yes, I'm certain he will appreciate us spending 15 pounds each and taking this two hour train journey to meet with him. Precisely. Imagine if this was all for nothing. Ha ha ha. That would be so funny I would probably guff my own bum. Ha ha ha, yes indeed. From what he has said there is no way this could ever end in a plap to the face. We must be nearly there as the people are starting to stare at us less and also the women are becoming more attractive. Yes you are correct, here we are. Remember to try to avoid eye contact with the busker just in case. Here we are, I am so excited, I've been waiting for this day all my life, in a way. I suggest you keep talk like that to a minimum around here. You sound like a hormone sensual, not a metal. Rock death voodoo punk of death. Let's go inside, wowzers. Heck. This place looks a lot more realistic on the outside. Hey there guys, you are looking for me, I think I want to say. Are you Phil? Yes I am. I recognize that Italian accent. You must be Alessandro. That is not an Italian accent. Shut your guff trap, you're breaking the illusion. Right, let's get a proverbial beverage and talk band business. Sounds good to me. Well guys, we certainly are having a great luck. And getting on like fantastic chums. I like the vibe we are producing with our verbal interactions. Can I just say guys, you are amazing. And I would love to join the band. I'm in this for the big time. Whatever it takes. It's only been 10 minutes but. I think we all want to move in the same direction and get this show on the road. We've been searching so long but finally it has paid off. I think there are some great times ahead. Oh do shut up, I'm seriously starting to worry about you. Now, let's talk business. Shall we get a rehearsal booked for say two weeks time? Well, in two weeks I'm heading back to Italy. So, that is not too good for me. Absolutely no problem. When are you back from Italy? We'll organize it for that week. Yes, the problem is I'm not sure I'm coming back to England. Ha ha ha. I hope to heck that you are pulling on my proverbials. No, I'm serious. It is unlikely I'll be coming back. Heck, are you actually demented in the head? How the absolute guff are you going to gig with us when you are in a different country? Oh yes, I can see that will be a problem. I hope I haven't wasted your time. Oh no, not at all. We love to travel for two hours on the train, spending our money on train tickets and a beer for you, just for you to frig us in the guff, right? Well we are going to leave now for the two hour journey back home. I sincerely do hope you get home safely to your flat just around the corner. Come on, let's get the guffing heck out of this vicinity before I lose my temper and tell him to frigging naff off back to Italy. It's lucky it's all on film, or else nobody would ever believe this actually happened. Unbelievable. 
What an absolute waste of time and money. To top it all I had to spend my last 30 pence at the Paddington toilets. What a rip off, I can't believe he spun me. That guff. About wanting to make it big with us. This is the worst day of my life.